Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, that incident of the Viking River cruise that ran over that tourist boat in Budapest just got even stranger. Just as a recap, last week a Viking River cruise ship ran into a tourist boat and completely destroyed the ship. It sank in less than seven seconds. Uh, passengers went missing. So far, the 32 passengers, only seven have been recovered. Some people have been found three and a half miles away from the incident at the bridge where it happened and the cruise ship captain has been detained and arrested and charged with operating a vehicle causing uh, mass uh, injuries and etc. Um, he's being held for 30 days. Currently though there is a judge out there who is maybe giving him bail uh, for 56,000 euros and uh, the prosecuting attorneys are trying to fight this because of uh, extradition may not be possible if he disappears, uh, etc. But um, that's not the, the crazy thing also about this is, as you might remember, uh, on April 1st, I reported out that a Viking cruise ship strunk an oil tanker. Well, guess what? Guess who was the captain of that ship? That's right. April 1st to the first week of June, basically six weeks, and this captain is involved in two major collisions with the river cruise ship. Something seems very odd and very out of place and this captain obviously should not be in control of a vessel at the moment. Uh, it's one thing to have this happen over the course of a 30-year career. It's completely different to happen within six weeks at each other, especially one that caused this many uh, tragic fatalities as well. So I, I kind of question what's going on with Viking and their river cruise operation, how this captain was still operating. Uh, here's an example, uh, just as a company working with a forklift in my company, um, if you have a minor incident with a forklift where you bump into something or you cause a little bit of damage, you're taken off the forklift and you have to get retrained by the trainer on the forklift before you're recertified. If there's a major collision, you're taken off the forklift completely and you have to recertify and everything. Yet you can crash into an oil tanker and now this, um, something seems to be a little off with the regulations regarding what's going on. Unless the captain was completely cleared of that incident, the oil tanker ran into them, but uh, from the looks of it, uh, it's not looking very good for this captain. Clearly the only known right now is Yuri C, as they don't announce the last name. But they did find out that he was the captain of the ship involved in hitting the oil tanker. So what do you guys think? Should this guy still be sailing? What's going on? I mean, Viking is a first class operation, first class ships, and their ocean is beyond reproach as far as normally. But now we've had Viking cruise ship hits, <laughs> hits an oil tanker. The Viking Sky has to airlift half their pop populace off in, in a storm because they ran out of engine power. Now this ship runs over a tour boat causing mass fatality. It's uh, something just really seems off right now and I hope they get their act together and come out with some responses because I imagine there's going to be an awful lot of lawsuits coming up shortly both for the captain himself and Viking cruise ships. And it's going to become an expensive year for Viking. Let me know down below what you guys think. Should this captain still have been sailing? What's going on? You think it may be not his fault? Um, it's hard to, hard to argue with the footage, though. Well, I hope you liked this news update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great Vacation.